Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to convert a PowerPoint into a PDF. So to do that, click on File, scroll down and click on Export. Now you want to select Create PDF slash XPS document. Click on that, click on Create PDF. Now you can type in a file name here and it's saved as a PDF. So I'll just type in a name here. I'll say PDF1 on Optimize 4. There's standard. It's standard quality. And there's minimum size. Minimum size means that the quality is not that great and the file size will be smaller. You can select whichever one you want. I'm going to leave it at standard. Now this is options. So I'm going to click on that. In the option box here, there's a range. And the range, I can select all, or current slide, or selection. So all means all the slides in the PowerPoint. This is current slide, means just this slide that's showing. And I can also make a selection. So for example, I hold the control key on the keyboard. And with the mouse, I select the slides that I would like to save as a PDF. And now I can click selection. I can save those selection as a PDF now. There's also custom show. Now if you have more than one custom show here, you can select it here and you can save it. And this is custom show. Click on slideshow here and this is the custom slideshow. So you can create custom slideshow here. Now on slides, this option here, if I click on it, I can choose slides. So my PowerPoint that I have here has 10 slides and I can choose from 1 to 10 or I can choose from 3 to 10 or 3 to 9. So you can make the selection here, whatever slides you would like. Now this is the publish options and it says publish what? If I click here all and I choose slides and I click OK, it will show like this. The slides are saved like this. So, so if I choose handouts and this is the slides per page, I can choose any one of these. I'll leave it at six. And the order here is horizontal or vertical. And here's a preview. When you choose the vertical, it shows you a preview here and click OK. So this is how it shows as a handout. Now I'll choose notes pages when I save it as a PDF. So this is how it shows with the slide and any kind of text. There's also outline view. So there are more options here and you can test these. I can also save this PowerPoint to a PDF by using the file print option. So if I go to file, click on print and under the printer, click on the drop down menu here and select the printer option here, Adobe PDF. And if you don't have Adobe PDF, once you have a Windows computer, you can select Microsoft Print to PDF. And I also have these options on settings, print all slides, click on the drop down menu. I have print selection, print current slide, and there's custom range also. And when I click on print, it will save as a PDF. So I can also convert this PowerPoint in a PDF by using the file save as option. So when I click on file, click save as, and under this drop down menu box here, click on that, select PDF. I get the options menu here. Click on that, 
and I can make my selections here. So these are the ways that you can convert a PowerPoint presentation into a PDF file. I can attach this PowerPoint into an email by using a mouse click. So to do that on PowerPoint, go to File, scroll down, click on Options, click on Quick Access Toolbar, click on the drop down menu here, and you want to select all commands scroll down here it says email as a PDF attachment there's also email so I select email as a PDF attachment click add click OK and the icon shows up here on the quick access toolbar so all I have to do is click on this icon here email as a PDF attachment it automatically attaches as an attachment here. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching. I ask you to subscribe.